Be warm. I was pushing it through some heavy yeah, stuff back there. I better cool down here. I started to leave it. Okay, first, first of all, your name? Richard Wible. It's my last name, Richard. W I B L E. Tell me how this whole thing came about when, that you found out about this. Well, we're a AAA provider out here in Magnolia. It's rec, you know, where we own SMB towing, and uh, they sent us out here a call because the man's car broke down right here in front of his house. We come out. Is on the way here, Eric, chief of 183, called me and goes, hey, uh, my neighbor is stranded. I said, I'm on the way out there on Terry Lane. So we get out here and uh, we find out that the man's handicapped. He's stuck in his Suburban. Long story short, we get the Suburban moved into the yard. We get in, the guy out on his walker and uh, Mr. Eric said, Mr. Kenneth, how do you get into the house? He goes, I get down on the ground and I crawl up the steps and I crawl into my house to my wheelchair. Well, Eric and I both said that's, that's, that's absurd. So the very next day is when I called David Hill with a heavy heart and said, can you help me? And it just took off a bear and you see what we're doing now. Kind of tell me uh, the house, you said it quite, a, it quite a bit molded and the reason behind, what, what happened with that? Apparently, Mr. Kenneth in December, right? Yeah, December was uh, got put in a home for six months. And apparently while he was uh, away, a tree limit fell through the corner of his house. And the whole back corner of the house is in bad shape. It's got mold in it. He had homeowner's insurance, but they're, they're not helping him because there wasn't anybody living here at the time that that, that accident happened. So it's all on, it's all on Mr. Kenneth. It's, he's a veteran. I mean, he, he gave you know, up his services for us. We need to help him, and that's what we're here today to do. All right, good. David, first of all, your name and be with Constable David Hill, Precinct 5, Montgomery County. Tell me about this situation out here. When Richard called me, he said that this man was crawling up those steps in and out to get in and out of his house. VA, nursing home, and Rosenberg, he told him he wanted to come home because he, he thinks he ought to be able to take care of himself. He can cook, he can clean, he can do all those things. And they thought so much of the idea that they called him a cab and let him pay for it to come home. And then he comes home to this mess and uh, insurance companies balking and uh, this community isn't balking. They stepped up to the plate. 
uh, Magnolia Hardware donated all the material to make this man a ramp John. so he can get up and down the uh, uh, Texas Federation of Veterans Foundation or something along that line. I can never remember the name. Patriots of Texas. Patriots of Texas Foundation. Yeah. Uh, they put the money up to buy this little machine over here so at least he can get in and out of the house without having to crawl in up steps. And uh, uh, people are just coming out of the woodwork to help. It is such a good, I feel like a good project and a man doing everything he can to help himself. And I think we need to help him some more. I don't know whether we can get the black mold out of the house. If we can't, we may have to do something about getting him a place to live in. So what, uh, I mean, they charge him to come, come home? Cost him $140 to ride home in a, a, a cab from the VA nursing home. Now that's the way the VA won't take care of a veteran. I don't, I don't think they're doing any good. Scott. So first of all, your name? Kenneth Rickley. Spell your last name, Kenneth? R-I-C-K-L-E-Y. Kenneth, tell me what, uh, you were what, Marines? Oh, yeah. Tell me when, how long were you in and, and when? Oh, uh, 67 to uh, 71. Okay. And you've got the VA's been taking care of you pretty much in and out and, uh, what, uh, her, broke your leg, you said it was? Uh, broke my femur. Okay. And, uh, in my hip. And, uh, I'll tell you what, I've just been going through, uh, pure hell now sometimes. But these people here, God bless them. They, they turned around and built me a ramp so I can get in and out, and which I needed very much. And they're... They're fixing a few other things around the house, and I can't tell you how much. Man, God bless them. I'll tell you, it's. How were you getting in the house before? I turned around and have to uh, do it step by step. Put my butt. I have to get down and then start there. Put my butt on one step, then put my hands up on the other one and get my rear up there and have to stop for a little while then keep on uh, doing the same thing. Then I had to crawl to the door Jeez. and uh, open it up and I had my wheelchair in here so. That Does was... it be a little bit easier now? Oh it's it, it's going to be a thousand times better mm -hmm. and like I said I, I God bless these people. It, Great. Well, how did you first come and meet David? Just, or I mean, uh, Kenneth. Just he, you called. You couldn't get out of your vehicle. Your vehicle broken down. Oh Tom yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about a little bit about that. What happened there? Oh, uh, that's when Richard came over, S and B uh, towing, and turned around and uh, told me what was wrong and everything. Uh, I wouldn't shift out of gear, and he just uh, towed me a little bit back and well pulled me pulled me back and then he shifted it went underneath and shifted it into drive and I could pull in my driveway uh, and they helped me from my wheelchair into the house so kind of tough then huh mm -hmm. okay and, uh, then he turned around and took it on his own notion to turn around and uh, get a group of good people together and I do God bless them Every one of them that turned around and donated and helped me. It's appreciated so much. You wouldn't believe. Okay. Appreciate it. John Edwards. John Edwards? And who are you with? Patriots of Texas. Tell me a little bit about Patriots of Texas. What? Tell me a little bit about the organization. Well, we go around um, finding vets one by one and helping them. House, whatever they need. Money, cars, they need a trip home, we send them home. Christmas, it don't matter. 
What was it like when you heard something on this, like this guy here when they let you know about him? Uh, I mean, a I lot just, of this, uh, there's a lot of these guys being left behind almost, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't think how bad, I didn't know how bad it was I got here this morning, to be honest. I thought it was just a ramp in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. but uh, so it was a lot worse. That's why I came back. I guess it helps I get my fat ass off the cord. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that would you want, Kevin? Yeah, okay, that, that didn't work. I'm going to cut it back. What were you thinking?